Hi, I'm Mrs. Dean Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to go over describing functions in eighth grade math. This does go along with some other function videos, which also go with the slope and y-intercept videos. If you haven't seen any of those, you can find them linked below. A function that is represented by a linear equation, y equals mx plus b, is a linear function. A function can also be written f parentheses x for y. So instead of y, you might see this symbol, and we read this f of x. So it says f of x equals mx plus b. You can fit that in instead of your y. And when you see that, whatever is in place of the x, so if it said f of 2, we would plug in a 2 for the x to solve. So just in case you see that soon, um, that just explains what that means. So let's look at a table here where we have our x, which is our input, we have our process, 2x plus 4, and we have our output, y. So we're going to use this table to plug in some numbers and create our process. So first we're going to plug in a 0, so 2 times 0 plus 4 gives us an output of 4, so my first ordered pair is 0, 4. I'm going to go ahead and label those on my graph. So my first point is at 0, 4. Then when I plug in a 2, 2 times 2 plus 4 is 8, so my next ordered pair is at 2, 8. Then if I plug in a 4, 2 times 4 plus 4 is 12, so I'm going to go from 4 on the x up to 12 for the y. My last ordered pair is going to be 6, 16. When I plug in a 6, my output is 16. And due to the fact that we have our equation, y equals mx plus b, it's pretty safe to say that this is going to be linear, but we can go ahead and connect these points. And we can see pretty clearly that this is a linear function. So if it does form a straight line, if it follows y equals mx plus b, it is a linear function. There are times when a function cannot be written in the form y equals mx plus b. And it is a nonlinear equation, so it's not a linear function. So let's look at an example here. We have another table with our input, our process, and our output. And you see here the process is x squared plus 1. This does not fit my y equals mx plus b, because this would say y equals x times x plus b. And we know that x times x does not fit the mx plus b form. So according to that information, this is not going to be linear. But let's go ahead and plug in some numbers and plot some points and find out. If I first plug in a 1, 1 squared plus 1 is 2. So my first ordered pair is 1, 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point here at 1, 2. Then when I plug in a 2, I have 2 squared plus 1. So my output is 5. So if I go over here to 2, I'm going to go up to 5. Next, I'm going to plug in a 3. 3 squared plus 1 is 10, so I'm at 3, 10. And we can already see this is increasing a little bit more rapidly. Then I'm going to plug in a 4. 4 squared plus 1 is 17, so I'm going to have 4 and then up here to 17. Now I can tell this is not going to be a straight line. If I want to go ahead and check, I can connect a couple of these points. And I can see here that the direction they're going, they're not going to go through every single point. So that makes it one way that's easy to see. If I also check my slope here, between these first two points, I'm going to go have a rise of 3 and a run of 1. So the slope here for this first section is 3 between the first two dots. Then if I check the slope here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the rise, one for the run, so this section between these two points has a slope of five. Since my slopes are different, this would be a nonlinear function. So it's easy to see there's two ways. You can check and see if the points make a straight line or if they fit the form y equals mx plus b. If they don't work for the straight line and your form is not y equals mx plus b, then it is not a linear function. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this video helped you understand describing functions in eighth grade math. I'm Mrs. D. Math. Have a great day. Bye.